We are doing a 3 8 inch, 9.5 millimeter steel versus lead ball video. Testing difference in damage, penetration, and just lead versus steel pretty much. Uh, first test, we got a stack of yeah. tonic water because yeah. it's fizzy and it'll explode. Hopefully, I'm gonna get the zoom camera on it and then we'll shoot it. That's recording. Lead or steel first? Lead. Here we go. Five yards. The GoPro. There you go, bro. But it blew through all three cans and it was it kept going. I wonder what the steel's gonna do. Okay, GoPro started aiming for these this side now. Aim dead center. That wasn't fully dead center, but we'll see what happened. Went through this one. This one fell out, didn't hit that one. We're gonna give the seal a second chance. And for this side. Okay. That was dead center. So, goes through the first. Into the second. It went out the second. Went out the second. Is this the third can or is this a different yeah, it's the different one? Oh yeah, and the steel is in there. This did not make it through all three. Here's the steel. I I mean I think the, the lead one on that one. Perfecto. Lead ball. 20 yards. I'm not too sure how low this is gonna go. It went very low. Ooh, I just nipped the side on that one. I'm gonna set that up again. Look at that, I just skimmed it. That was so cool. I think it was this yeah, one. Yeah, that one has a bunch of tonic water. Yeah, this, this is it. So, went straight through the middle and came out right there. So, 20 yard lead. Still does damage. Take a steal this time. Dead center. Let me stop this. Oh yeah, this was definitely it. Oh, I guess it did go through. Look at that. Went in, came out. Power-wise, I think they're pretty much the same at close distances, but as you start stepping out, the lead is definitely gonna be a little bit better option for power, um, foot pounds of energy. So yeah, next test, penetration. This is like a broken man's ballistic gel. That's pretty much what this is. Okay. I feel like we should be kind of close for this. Just so I hit it dead center. Steel first. That was definitely not the middle. And it still popped out the back. If I get one down the middle of that, it'll be perfect. Oh, look at that. And it never came out. I guess we'll cut it open and see how far the steel made it. That's what the channel of a nine and a half millimeter, three eighths inch steel made. Five and three quarters ish. Okay, let's shoot it with the lead and see what happens. Lead ball. Did I start the, yeah. Oh, I hit my toe. Damn. Okay, ready? Perfect. That last one went, it just hit low and hit me in the toe. Look at that. Ow. Ooh, I kinda, I'd love to use some ballistics gel one day. That'd be kinda cool. Nine and a half millimeter lead ball channel. It doesn't have that much more penetration. More like six and a half. So it's like five and three quarters versus six and a half. Did get more penetration with the lead. Last test, damage at distance. Just explain or show how lead does more damage at distance. 53. I got 53. We're at 53 yards right now. We're gonna shoot with the steel first. 53 yards.
Oh dang, that was the wood above it. That was better. Go check it out. There you go. You can see, hit it right there and just dented the thing, didn't penetrate. So, at 53 yards, over there at Rome Sanding, it does not penetrate. Lead at 53. The wind's not pushing the lead though, compared to how much it was the steel. That had to be middle. Yeah, Entrance and exit. There we have the damage difference between the lead and the steel at 50 yards. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, testing out the difference between the lead and the steel at the same diameter, just different material. Lead does a little bit better at penetration and damage, and damage at long range. So it won most of the damage and penetration whatever's tests, but it also is not as good for the environment. It's harder to find and more expensive, and it drops off a lot faster, so you have to aim high. Uh, target shooting, I would still, I'm still gonna use steel. Um, I did the testing, it's up to you to decide what you wanna shoot it for. Yeah, that's it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this test between nine and a half millimeter lead and steel. See you next video, bye.